everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. My name is Mike and today we are going to talk about how to avoid two C7 Corvette drivetrain disasters and these are a must know. ladies and gentlemen so this has been on my mind for quite a while it's something that I wanted to uh, make a video about actually uh, back when my car had the problems in July and I had to get a new engine and so this is something that again has been on my mind for quite a while and I wanted to bring it up and make a video about it, but I just hadn't done it yet. And so I want to go ahead and do that today and let you know that there are ways to avoid what happened to my engine. And you know, there's going to be people out there that say, you know, I drove it rough or whatever. It has nothing to do with what happened to my engine. Uh, what actually happened to my engine is cylinder deactivation. Now, I'm not sure that everyone is going to understand what cylinder deactivation is, but what, what it actually is, is when in these cars, uh, most Chevy V8 you know, trucks and cars have a program in the ECU that or ECM that uh, takes eight cylinders down to four cylinders for supposed eco mode. And it's actually uh, not really that much different than just leaving it in, you know, uh, V8 mode and keeping the RPMs low is going to save you a lot of gas. In my 2003 Z06, I took multiple trips from Colorado Springs to Denver and uh, on I-25 going 75, 80 miles an hour in six gear, my RPM was as low as 1,800 to 2,000 RPM. And I would get, I'm not I'm not even joking about this. I would get 30 to 33 miles to the gallon in that 405 horsepower Z06. And it didn't have cylinder deactivation back then. Now, with this car, I feel like without cylinder deactivation, I could probably get, you know, 21 to 23 miles uh, per gallon. But the difference is, is this car has a lot more horsepower. It's a bigger engine. Uh, higher compression ratio a lot of things are going for that are different than my uh, C5Z06 and so uh, With that being said, let's talk a little bit more about this cylinder deactivation and how to avoid it now I have been told that if you own a manual car a, a seven-speed manual that you can put it in sport or track mode at all times. And obviously you don't want to drive in track mode, but if you leave it in sport mode at all times, you're not going to uh, drop into V4 mode. Uh, but I've recently heard that that is not even true and that there's only one transmission that can stop V4 from happening. And that is the automatic transmission, which is what I have in this car. Now, if you know much about cylinder deactivation, you're also going to know that it hurts the transmission also. It, it ruins torque converters by the hundreds. And I actually have a subscriber that reached out to me after my problems with my engine and told me that and he had already told me that he had lots of torque converter problems in his automatic eight speed but he said that he had done some research and talked to some people and they really felt like it was my car going into four cylinder mode that messed up the lifters in my engine and 
it was also his car going into V4 mode that messed up his torque converter. And so this is a known common problem. I think if you look back at my video where I talked to the mechanic that put in the new engine to my car, you will remember him or me telling you that he actually told me in the trucks, in the Silverados and the Sierras that have this exact engine in it, they are constantly having the lifter problem that my car had. Now, he hadn't seen it that common on the Corvette because if you think about it, a Corvette is going to not go into V4 mode near as often as a truck. Sorry, that was very bumpy back there. Uh, a truck is going to go into V4 mode way more often because you're driving it a lot lower RPMs and you're not going to be getting on it all that often in a truck and so it's not going to it's not going to go into V4 mode or it's going to go into V4 mode a lot more often than a car like this and so he said he's constantly replacing the 6.2 liter engines in trucks Chevrolet trucks uh, and so it's a very common problem it is not something that isn't known it's very well known and it sucks and so the way to fix that in an automatic is to put it down into manual mode and for some reason I don't know all the reasons for this uh, because real quick before I get into that when I went on the forum and looked, there are a million different things that create an optimal reason for your Corvette to go into V4 mode. I mean, uh, oil temperature, oil pressure, RPM, engine warmth, in, uh, engine speed, vehicle speed, you name it. There are a long list of reasons why your Corvette is going to go into V4 mode. And I don't like any of it. I don't understand why Chevrolet didn't just make it so that only in Eco mode it could go into V4 mode. So in Tour, Weather, Sport, and Track, it would never go into V4 mode. But if you have a automatic transmission and you go into manual mode, you can avoid the V4. Now, if you know anything about the manual car, the M7 C7 Corvette, and how to avoid the cylinder deactivation in that car, please leave a comment down in the comment section below and let me know what that is. I'd love to know. But, I mean, it's a bunch of nonsense. I don't understand, like I said, why they wouldn't set it up so that if you're in eco mode only, cylinder de deactivation happens. If you're in any other mode, it doesn't happen. I mean, there are stories of people out there putting it in track mode, which I'm going to do and see what happens. But they say if even if you put it in track mode and you're driving around in track mode, it will go to V4 mode. So I'm going to do that for you guys. I'm going to let I'm gonna, I've got a GoPro set up to show that. So we're going to switch it over to track mode here. I've been told that, you know, basically when you're kind of just not driving hard, you're coasting, I'm going to sit here and watch it. I'm going to have to look around my GoPro, but it's supposedly going to switch to V4 mode. I'm going fast enough. Yep, there it goes, V4 mode in track mode. So as you can see, 
it still happens. There I pushed on the gas a little and it came out of uh, V8, or came out of V8, came out of V4 and went into V8. There you saw it switch back and forth again. So it's, it's a very uh, harsh thing to happen to switch from eight cylinders to four cylinders, not only for the engine, but also for the transmission. Now, we're gonna put it in manual mode and we're gonna test it out and see if it switches in manual mode. Because I've been driving around in manual mode and I've never seen it switch, but I've got the camera going now. So let's see what happens. Let's, let's go to sport mode. see what happens in let's see what happens in fifth gear yeah I'm not getting any definitely not getting any V4 and fifth how about sixth Oh, and another thing is uh, in first and second, it will never go into V4 mode. It has to be third and higher, which still sucks. Uh, it shouldn't, in even in eco mode, if it only happened in eco mode, it still shouldn't go in V4 mode until you're in eighth gear on the highway. But that's not the way it works. Now... This brings me to the final and last point, and that is it's going to still be in the C8 Corvette. And this really disappoints me because obviously GM has figured out from 2014 to 2020 that it's not a good thing. So why would they put it back in the C8 when they could get rid of it? It's not the EPA that's telling them they have to do this. I've been reading a lot of things. It has nothing to do with the EPA. It's their own reason for doing it. Someone pointed out that uh, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, McLarens, they all get horrible gas miles. They all get 11 to 12 miles of the gallon and the EPA isn't coming down on them. So why would the EPA come down on Chevrolet for the Corvette when the Corvette without V4 mode would get double that gas mileage. So uh, it's definitely not EPA. I hate it that it's happening to the C8. Uh, it sucks because you will have to tune it out of there. Then your warranty is voided and that's not a good thing. So do me a favor, let me know in the description down below, or let me know in the comment section down below if you know for a fact that this is happening to the C8. And if it is, if it is only in eco mode this time in the C8, or if it's in all modes. So that's going to do it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot. If so, leave me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you liked it. And if you have not joined this wonderful Brink of Speed community, we would love to have you. Make sure and smash that red subscribe and bell notification so that you're notified when my new content comes out. I hope each and every one of you has a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you out on the road.